Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. Today we will be doing the speed test comparison of the newly launched Vivo T3 Pro with the OnePlus Nord CE4. So these are two devices around the 25,000 price segment in India and they have a lot of similarities. In fact, both of them have the same processor, same amount of RAM. In fact, they also have uh, uh, the same Android version. So there are a lot of things uh, similar for these two devices. But the differentiating aspect is the software experience. This is FunTouch OS while this is uh, the Oxygen OS. So let's just go to the about phone of these two devices. So let's just take about phone. Here also about device. So 2.63 gigahertz uh, Snapdragon 7 Gen 3. Here also Snapdragon 7 Gen 3. OnePlus Nord CE4. And this is 8 gigabyte RAM. This is also 8 gigabyte RAM. This is 256 and 256 gigabyte uh, storage. Android 14. And this is Oxygen OS uh, 14. While this is Fun Touch OS. So device is uh, Vivo T3 Pro. While this is uh, OnePlus Nord CE4. So uh, these are two devices around the same price segment. So in this video we will be doing the speed test comparison of these two devices and see which performs better in terms of opening of apps the memory management the network speed the antidote score everything will have a look so we just cleared off all the background apps on both the devices so let's see the network settings so here we have both the devices connected to the airplane mode so we're just enabling airplane mode on vivo as well so both have uh, airplane mode and uh, again very similar in terms of network conditions so let's just clear off the background apps once again so let's start with asphalt unite so let's see which opens asphalt unite faster So OnePlus Nord CE4 opened the game faster, followed by the Vivo T3 Pro. Next, uh, let's go to BGMI. Let's see which opens BGMI faster. So Vivo has taken the lead here. And Vivo opened it faster. So in terms of games, uh, one game was faster on Vivo, the other game was faster on the OnePlus Nord CE4. Next is the Play Store. Again, uh, Vivo is slightly faster. Chrome browser. Again, Vivo is slightly faster. Facebook. OnePlus is faster. Twitter. Again, OnePlus is slightly faster. Instagram. Again, uh, OnePlus is faster here. Spotify. OnePlus uh, once again takes the lead. Amazon. OnePlus is faster here. It's taking time to load Flipkart. Vivo is slightly faster here. File Manager. OnePlus is once again faster. Settings. OnePlus is faster. YouTube. OnePlus is slightly faster. Gmail. Again, OnePlus is faster. Now, camera. OnePlus is faster. Now, maps. You can see here Vivo is slightly faster. Now the differentiating aspect about these two devices is that Vivo uh, T3 Pro is UFS 2.2 while this uh, OnePlus Nord CE4 is UFS 3.1. That definitely has an impact in terms of opening of apps. It was slightly quicker on the OnePlus Nord CE4. Now next uh, let's see the memory management. Now both the devices have 8 GB RAM. So let's see how good are the memory management of these two devices is. So far all the apps have been retained in the memory. So let's just go in the reverse order. So here you can see here, uh, Flipkart has been reloaded. Amazon, Amazon has been reloaded on both the devices. Spotify, again reloaded on both the phones. Instagram is available on uh, uh, OnePlus while it has been reloaded on Vivo. Twitter available on OnePlus while again it's reloaded. Facebook is available on both the phones. Chrome browsers both have reloaded it. Play Store again available on Vivo, not available on OnePlus. BGMI reloaded on both the devices. So memory management doesn't seem to be that great on either of the devices. Both have been reloading apps and games. And finally let's go to uh, 
asphalt unit once again it has been reloaded so you could see that memory management is uh, not that great on either of the devices so let's just move to uh, the network uh, speed so here we go so let's uh, just um, so there you go we just selected both the servers as same so first let's go with vivo t3 pro so you could see almost similar values nothing much to differentiate next is a synthetic benchmark we have uh, uh, the antidote benchmark so here here you can see here 8,6484, 8,7,996. So almost same uh, score we have got on both the devices. Uh, the CPU score, GPU score, uh, memory score and UX score. Very similar in terms of value. So nothing much to differentiate here as well. Next let's go to the storage. Too. So as I said before, this is uh, UFS 2.2 while this is UFS 3.1. So here we go. 60,000, uh, 72,000, UFS 3.1. While this is UFS 2.2, the score looks actually pretty good uh, for a uh, UFS 2.2 device. Uh, next, uh, uh, finally, let's go to the Geekbench test. So, there you go. Here you can see here very similar results once again 1131 and 1122, 3030, while 2937. Again, very similar in terms of scores. So, these are two devices with exactly similar hardware. In fact, uh, the only differentiating aspect is the UFS storage 2.2 versus 3.1, and uh, again, Android uh, version of uh, the software FunTouch OS versus uh, the Oxygen OS. The rest, rest of this aspects remain similar on both the devices. So that is the speedest comparison. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.